These adobe buildings, which are up 40 years old, were apparently not strong enough to withstand a 5.5 magnitude earthquake. More than 120 such houses collapsed overnight in Shandong Province. The quake occurred outside of what is considered China's earthquake zone. Locals say they can't remember ever experiencing an earthquake here like this. We heard continuous booms. The house shook violently, and we ran out. It was 2:30 a.m. We didn't dare sleep all night. It's impossible to believe that there would be an earthquake in the plains, but everyone ran out. Officials say most of the injuries reported were minor, and more than half of those treated in hospitals had been released by the end of the day. People say the earthquake warning system on their mobile phones worked. Experts rated the quake as moderate. Our modern homes here reinforced the concrete structures clearly held. Around the area, life is getting back to normal. Guangpingyuan公司立即组织成立抢修工作队，出动219人、42辆抢修车、四辆应急发电车，对平原县所有输变配电设备进行拉网式排查。People in Beijing, Jiangsu, and Anhui provinces and some surrounding areas said on social media that they also felt the quake. Experts in geoscience and natural disasters say earthquakes that occur when people are deeply asleep can feel more powerful than those that occur when people are awake during the day. Fortunately, no one was killed in this earthquake. Currently, local electricity, water, and communication facilities are running smoothly. Well, but locals they are not relaxed due to over 50 aftershocks, and further investigation and assessment is underway. Liu Jiaxin, CGTN, Pingyuan County, in Dezhou, Shandong Province.